Configuring link front end on vServe 3, stage 8. Going back to vServe 2, the Exchange server, let's log in, and we're going to navigate to HTTPS vServe 3 dot macroconnect dot local CSCP, which is the link control panel. It'll ask for a user ID and password, and it'll warn you that you need to upgrade or install Silverlight. Click to now to install. Click run. Click run. Click install now. Click close. And let's refresh. You see the control panel come up. I'm going to minimize and drag a shortcut to the desktop. I'm going to maximize again. We're now going to connect Exchange Unified Messaging to the link server. So let's pull up the EMC. Expand the node. Expand organization configuration. Go to UM, create a dial plan, specify these settings exactly, click next, let me hit back as a warning, make sure there are no spaces in the name. Click next, click add, click vserve2, click next, and click new. Click finish. Click on default dial plan, go to subscriber access, type in the normalized phone number that we're going to use for subscriber access. Subscriber access is the number that your employees will call into if they want to check their voicemail or they want to check their email. Click add, go to dialing restrictions, check allow calls to extensions, click OK, go to UM auto attendance. Create a new auto attendant, type in auto attendant, and do dial plan, browse. Pick the new dial plan, type in the normalized phone number and click add. Check both of these, and click new. Click finish. Now we need to run a script from the management shell. You want to copy and paste these from the text document. Hit enter, and paste the second one, hit enter. We want to run that twice. And we have a need to restart the Exchange UM service, so do type clipboard text again, and we've got a third script. Hit enter. Now there's a script we need to run from vServe 3, so let's go back there. Do start and run and paste in from the text document. So it's OCS UM util. Hit enter. Click load data. Click add. Click browse. Make new OU. Call it link. Hit enter. Click OK. Change this to subscriber access. Change this to subscriber access as well. Notice that it pulls up the phone number because we already typed it in. in click OK. Click Add. Change this to auto attendant. And you don't want to have spaces in these. Change this to auto attendant as well. Go down to the bottom and click auto attendant. You'll see that it changes the pilot number. Auto selects the new auto attendant we already made. Click OK. This tool has now created new contacts in Active Directory that has these phone numbers assigned to it. We need to restart Link Front End and Link Mediation. Do that under Services, Link Mediation Restart, and Link Front End Restart. Close out of Services, close out of the Exchange Utility, and the command line close. Now let's go back to vServe2 and set up a new user. We can close the management shell. Go to Recipient and Mailbox, click on Administ and Enable Unified Messaging. Click Browse, the default plan, OK, click Next, type in the mailbox number, click Next, click Enable, click Finish. At this point, test calls to the number ending in 6808 and 6807 will work.